first of all, uh, you got to give a ton of credit to Defiance. I mean, they played a great game. There's a reason that they're 25 and two. Uh, I thought they did a great job defensively. They moved the ball really well. They shot the ball great. So I mean, you know, they deserve the credit. Um, they played a great game, and uh, I wish them nothing but the best in state. You know, it's hard for us. We're doing a pretty good job lately of getting off to good starts and, and playing from ahead. And, and we got off to a slow start tonight. They got off to a fast start and really turned the game on us. And we just could never quite get in the flow offensively uh, and get caught up. You know, one of the things we wanted to do is try and get out in transition a little bit, but we could never quite get the stops to do that. Uh, and so really kind of took us out of what we were trying to do, but that's you know mostly a credit, a credit to the way they played. I think the, the points in the paint kind of jumps out from the stats. It was 30 to 8 for them, and I imagine that Post defense was, was kind of yeah. We knew I mean, we knew we were going to be outsized, and that was part of the reason we started the game in zone. We uh, did not anticipate them shooting the ball so well as they did in the first quarter, and so they kind of put us in a in a tough spot because you know you you can really pack it in, but they were shooting the ball really well, or you can come out and guard them, and then you're in a tough spot. And we knew that Singleton uh, twenty two was going to be a tough matchup for us because. Uh, I mean, he's bigger than anybody we got, but we didn't really want to put our five man on him. He had three fouls in the first half, and so, you know, we put uh, Dwayne Cohill on him, and that was a tough matchup for Dwayne, and he did his best. But, I mean, Singleton played a great game, 20 points, nine rebounds, and, you know, he really played great, and his brother played well as well. Took a couple timeouts there in the first half. If they went on a little bit of spurt, and what did you stress to your team during those? I just thought we came out a little – I thought, you know, one of the things we knew is that in the half court we were going to have to be patient offensively, and I thought that we were a little quick off the bat. And I think some of that is natural. When you fall behind, you get in a hurry to try and catch up and, and uh, make up the difference. Um, and so I thought that we were just trying to talk to the kids about being a little bit more patient, taking a little bit more time, being a little more deliberate when we had to. I mean, we wanted to run, but we weren't getting out in transition, so then we need to be a little bit more deliberate in the half court. Uh, but we just – you know, they played a really good defensive game, and we could just never quite get in that groove offensively. And Lawrence, what did you guys talk about at halftime? You were down by about 17 at that Talk point. about defense. If you, can't, if you can't guard and play defense, then offense doesn't matter. So I told our guys, we got to come out and play some D, get some stops, and then get some buckets. Offense don't matter. Defense will win games, and then we ain't have a good defensive game. Obviously a really young team um, with two, two of the three seniors starting. I mean, uh, Lawrence, did this, this team exceed your expectations this year? Yeah, I thought last year was one of our, my best teams that we since I've been at Holy Name. But as the year kept going, it's the best team I've been on since my four years. I'm proud of my guys, and they come out and work hard every day. How about you, Coach? What were you expecting from this team this season? You know, I really didn't know. We got off to a slow start. We were one and four at one point, and then over the last two and a half months of the year, kids really came together and played great basketball. And you know, a lot of that is a credit to Lawrence and Jack, our senior captains. Uh, and then, you know, obviously I'm excited about our future. I mean, I'm confident that we'll be back here. We'll learn from this experience. Um, but, you know, in this moment right now, as, as we reflect, I mean, it was, I, I told these guys in the locker room, you went farther than any team in Holy Name has ever gone. gone. They've got a lot to be proud of, and they need to, uh, it's hard right now, but give it a day or two, sit back and appreciate it and, and reflect on that accomplishment. What about their defense? What caused you so many issues that you weren't able to get the ball? Yeah, the well, I think that uh, they did a great job getting back in transition, and we weren't getting a lot of stops either, so that made it hard as well to get out and run. And then they uh, they switched a lot of the ball screens, which we kind of anticipated coming in, but uh, that took away some of our action. And then they just they did a nice job of keeping guys in front, and then when they got beat, they did a great job helping and recovering. So it was just there weren't a lot of gaps to exploit. There weren't a lot of, a lot of holes in the defense, and then I thought that um, – you know, switching was a smart play by them, and it, it was something that we've seen before, and we've done a pretty good job with at times. But tonight, we, you know, they have five pretty interchangeable guys. You know, sometimes when we play a team that has a traditional post and they switch, that creates a lot of mismatches for us. But all their guys can guard, so it was hard to try and find a mismatch to exploit.